Say hello, welcome. So friends, in this video, we are going to learn zip file operation in Oracle integration. So what zip file is going to do is that so we, if we have multiple files over Oracle integration cloud directory that will make a zip of that all the files together and will you we can use that zip file to place our server or whatever we want. Sometimes we need to upload the zip file to use EM server or anywhere we can use. So in this integration, if you will see right now, what we are going to do is that our server, our SFTP server, we have these two files. So what we have done, we added two FTP adapters. That two FTP adapter is going to download the file from SFTP and downloading the file into Oracle Integration Cloud Virtual Directory. So this is the Oracle Integration Cloud Virtual Directory. And this is the source directory from SFTP server where we are going to download the file. So this is the first endpoint which is going to download ap invoice interface.csv file and this is the second endpoint which is going to download ap invoice lines interface.csv file and both endpoint is going to place the file of uh, downloading the file from uh, sftp server and placing into oracle integration cloud virtual directory that is temp inv dir i have also make a note of this directory in the note point note point here you can see this is the directory names it will help next to create integration so now what we need to do is that we need to uh, create a zip of these two file so we both file have already uh, available in the oracle integration cloud directory so now we will use a stage file operation to make a zip so we are going as we are going to make a zip of zip file operation so we need to provide the endpoint name as that zip zip so this is the operation name and the stage is the activity name so you can provide any name here, but I always prefer whenever I write code or design integration, I always use name related to the operation and that the activity what we are going to perform. So here now we have to make a zip. So once you will select zip file, it will ask you three options. The first one is the specify the file name. So what kind of file name you are going to provide to your zip file. So let me make xx underscore inv zip. Sorry zip underscore zero zero one dot zip so i want to make my zip file with this name right so i added here save and now second option is you can see specify the directory to zip it means from where the source directory from where we are going to get the data file so that we can make a zip so this is our virtual directory here we here we have all these two files from sftp server we downloaded right so i will provide this directory here and now the next is that in from where from this point we will get all the file and will make a zip file and from where we need to place this zip file so this directory will be the oracle integration directory not the sftp directory right because a stage operation is a stage file activity is only working with the oracle integration directory only so here we need to provide the zip directory so as we have already make a note of that so here this will be the zip directory names you can provide any name this is the temporary directory until your integration is working running the directory will be available after the integration completed the directory will be removed so here we provided the zip directory so what it will do is that this endpoint will create this directory so what is this endpoint will do this will this endpoint will create a zip file with this name and it will make all the file available in this directory to the zip file and after creating the zip file it will place this zip file to this directory only right so now our file is created zip file is created it's done so this endpoint with the help of this endpoint we are successfully able to create zip file now it's time to place this zip file over sftp server so this is our server and i want to make a zip for file and place this zip file in this zip file folder only so i will make a copy of this directory so i want this zip file should be placed over server so this this zip file will be created in oracle integration directory only this file will available here only in this integration not outside that integration but i want to place this file over server that's why we require ftp adapter so here i have already created ftp connection so here in this ftp what we are going to do is that we are going to write file over server so i will use write ftp as write is the operation Right is the operation, FTP is the endpoint name, right? Next. And here I want to select the right because I want to create the file. So whenever we want to create file, we need to select the right operation. And here this is the directory name. 
so from where in which directory we want to place the file so i want to place the file in this directory right so i have already copied the name so this is the directory and this is the file name what kind of file name you want to generate here so i just don't, i don't want to provide the file name here as i have already given the file name in a stage activity right so here but it's mandatory to provide file name in this step right here so what i will do i will provide any dummy name as a star and i will overwrite this name in the mapping only right so just go next and i don't want to provide any structure so i will select no as we in zip file we don't have a structure right we don't have a structure of zip file so here if we provide no it means we need to provide the file reference so as i mentioned that we need to provide the file reference here so this zip file will return you the file reference so we will map this file reference here only right so in mapping so if you will see we didn't provide the file name right so we need to provide the file name here so from where we will get the file name so as in the stage operation a stage zip zip stage we have already provided the file name so zip operation already contain the file reference and the file name so once you will expand this is the file reference and here you will see the name so i will map this file name here and here in the ics file we need to provide the file reference this file reference we are going to provide to the FTP connection so that it will place this file to FTP server. This is the file reference of our zip file, right? So now every mapping is now we need to sorry provide the zip file reference. Done. Now we need to validate and close. So we have mapped the file reference and the file name to this FTP endpoint. So now what it will do, it will download the file with the help of these two endpoints and it will make a zip of that and with the help of this endpoint, we are placing the zip file over SFTP server. So here we don't have any file. So just save. Once our integration will be completed, the file will be placed over that server. So just activate. And now after the activation, we are going to run the integration. So now submit. It's generated the instance ID. Just click here. It will take some time to complete the execution of the integrations. Once completed, we can check the file that will be placed over server. So you can see our integration completed success. If you will go to the server and if you will refresh, you can see the zip file here. So this is the same zip file name we created in the stage zip operation, right? So if we will download this zip file here, this is my local directory. And here you can see this is the downloaded file. Once I will open, you can see these two files. These two files we downloaded it from SFTP and make a zip of that, make a zip of that, right? So here we have on server we have zip file, right? In that zip file we have these two files, right? So this is our integration to do the same. If you will go to the log messages and check, you can see all these things. Here in log message, if you will see, first this download header file FTP is going to download the file from sftp server to oracle integration virtual directory this two file and now we are going to make a zip stage to zip this two file and after that we use write ftp adapter to write this zip file over ftp server or sftp server right so this is the complete integration to do the operation so if you have any queries please don't forget to comment and if you want to like any query and ask want to uh, i need to provide the solution you can write a comment of that so that we can check and we'll provide solution for that question thank you so much for watching if you have any other queries please do comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed this yet thank you so much for joining